back now at Race for the White House. Change, it is not just Barack Obama's campaign slogan. These days, it is also what we are seeing happen in the polls as Senator McCain is wiping out Senator Obama's one-time double-digit lead. The two are now running neck and neck just 50 days from Election Day. Can Senator Obama regain the upper hand? And if so, how is he going to do it? Joining me now, Obama's supporter, former presidential candidate himself, and the governor of New Mexico, Bill Richardson. Governor, thanks for being here. Thank you very much, David. Let's start with the big headline of the day and what's happening in the economy. There seems to be on the campaign trail a fair amount of oversimplification on both sides in terms of what's causing the uh, panic in the markets, what's happening to a lot of these investment banks and the mortgage crisis. Is this really a matter of blaming the administration for the state of affairs that we're in? Well, here's, here's what is troubling. Senator McCain today has said that the fundamentals of the economy are strong. You know, I was in Las Vegas yesterday, which was one of the fastest growing cities economically in the country. Highest rate of foreclosures in the country. Tourism down. The economy down there. Jobs. Uh, you know, the issue here, and then you have Main Street hurting, and now Wall Street is falling apart. Yet you have Senator McCain basically saying, whether you're blaming the Bush administration or not, that the fundamentals of the economy are strong. The fundamentals in terms of, uh, in terms of job losses, in terms of unemployment, the highest in five years, in terms of uh, businesses going bankrupt, people losing their homes, jobs going overseas. Uh, I think that's the issue. It's the perception right. that with Senator McCain, you're going to get four more years of the same policies because right, this so is what fair President enough. Bush so, says. So specific question then, if we look at what's happening on Wall Street right now, you had these investment banks who were too heavily leveraged. They were loaning money to people who really shouldn't have gotten it in the first place in the subprime loans, these interest-free loans, and they were so heavily leveraged. So if anything like this happened where the mortgage, mortgage market went south, they didn't have have any way to recoup those losses. They're out of money. They can't get any more money. What specifically would Senator Obama do to more tightly regulate the banking industry to head off a problem like this? Well, this is something that uh, he, in his platform he has said that we need a stronger oversight, we need a stronger SEC, a Securities and Exchange Commission, we need to find ways to tighten the law so that uh, you don't have these unprecedented foreclosures. I mean, it's a matter of oversight. Uh, the, the Republican view has been, David, that uh, the economy and the fundamentals are fine, so let right. the market dictate what's happening. So well, well, let's be clear here, because Senator, Senator McCain is talking for the same kind of oversight. He's blaming Washington, saying that there was not adequate uh, regulation by the SEC or the administration generally. So on this point, it seems that there's agreement. Well, well yeah, but Senator McCain was in the Senate. He's been there the last 26 years. Uh, he's in a committee that could deal with this issue, the Senate Commerce Committee, I believe. So wh what has he done on the economy? What has he done to keep an eye on uh, this imbalance in Wall Street? What has he done to create new jobs? I mean, all his solution is more tax cuts, uh, continued deficit spending. It's basically more of the same of the Bush years. That's the difference between Obama and, and Senator McCain. Obama would bring people together. He would give a tax cut to 85 percent of the Americans people. Yet Senator McCain saying that uh, Obama is taxing uh, the American people. That 85% of all working families under the Obama plan gets a tax cut. Is it smart to call for tax cuts if you're Senator Obama, those tax credits for the middle class, and we've got a budget deficit that's going to approach over $400 billion, when there may be a disinclination in Congress to vote for additional tax hikes, they might just vote for his tax cuts. Is that unsound for the economy? No, because what they are, David, is tax cuts for working people who will spend more. Senator Obama wants to see a stimulus package also, $1,000 per family. But at the same time, he takes dramatic steps to rein in the deficit. Here's what Senator McCain wants to do. More tax cuts for corporations. More tax cuts for oil companies. More individual tax cuts. Make the Bush tax cuts permanent. You heard Alan Greenspan say that's what is making the economy so high in deficit spending. That's what's hurting our economy today. Let me move on to talk of politics. We've seen a big switch here among women. 
which are very important for uh, a Democrat who wants to, to beat a Republican where they don't do as well with white men or men generally. They like to have that gender gap. With Sarah Palin now on the ticket, governor of Alaska, that has now evened out. Did Senator Obama make a mistake in your judgment not choosing Hillary Clinton? No, no. I think Senator Biden, who gave a great speech today on the difference between Obama and McCain, is a sound choice because of his foreign policy background, which, with all due respect, Governor Palin does not have. Uh, Senator Clinton is out campaigning very strongly for Senator Obama, as is a number of uh, women Democratic governors, like Governors Napolitano, Sebelius. I think you're going to see that gap come back to Senator Obama. Uh, my main concern is the West. I believe that Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado are going to be the key to Senator Obama's victory. The Hispanic vote is moving very much with Senator Obama. So there's hand-wringing in the Democratic Party about how Senator Obama has been campaigning in recent weeks since Governor Palin joined the ticket. He's trained some of his fire on her rather than McCain. There's a concern among Democrats that he's not fighting back hard enough. And yet for the, now the third or fourth time dating back to the primaries, the, the Obama campaign says, okay, now we're going to start to take a harder edge. We're going to fight back. Does he not have enough fight in him, Governor? No, he has plenty of fight in him. But we got to remember, Senator Obama is a positive candidate. He wants to bring people together, Republicans, independents. He wants to bridge the differences we have as a country. This country needs some healing, and his appeal is to stay positive, to stay above the fray, to bring people together. Here you have Senator McCain in a campaign that is, is, is full of distortions, misstatements. The ads almost every day uh, need responses because they're totally unfactual. Now, uh, what we need to do is, yes, respond, but not take the negative side as the McCain campaign has done. Real quick, how does New Mexico look? It's going to be a key pickoff opportunity for Barack Obama. It's going to be very close, but I predict that we will win New Mexico. Uh, Senator Obama will be here Thursday. The Hispanic right. northern part of the state will go with uh, Obama, the, Albuquerque, the central part of the state, narrowly Obama. Uh, the southern part, we cut our losses, but our job is to keep the Republican base from coming out strong in New Mexico. I believe we're going to win narrowly. All right, and finally, of course, the most important question he will face when he gets to New Mexico, green or red, right? <laughs> green. I'll tell him green chili is, <laughs> is, is the most vote-getting uh, chili that he can pick. <laughs> Just wanted to, to remind people that I've actually lived there and covered news there. Governor, always good to see you. Thanks for coming on.